Hello and welcome to Talking Pittsburgh. There's an old adage that says the friends you make in college are the friends you have for life. Nowhere is that more applicable than at Penn State Beaver. Even mascot Buddy Beaver has reason to smile about the camaraderie between a group of highly motivated students and Neil Fogarty, a faculty member who has been teaching for more than three decades. One of his mentees is Claire Waples, a senior business major at Penn State Beaver. Thanks for coming on today. Thank, Thank you. you. Neil, so it all started during a class called Skills in Professionalism. Yes, indeed. One of the things that we do in our classes is we try to prepare the students so that when they get out, they not only know marketing and finance, but they also know how to be a good professional, how to be a good executive and a good manager. And we focus on very skills in that class. So the lab project was designed to focus on building effective teams. Well, if you think about it, a, a, a good leader, a good business leader, a good professional has to build good teams. Whatever you're doing, whether it's at work or whether it's out of work, you have to be able to build teams. So we came up with this project for the students. Claire, what was the competitive assignment for each team? The competitive assignment for each team was to collect as many cans as possible within less than a two-week period. They exceeded your expectations. Oh my goodness. I thought when I gave this assignment, I thought that with, we had uh, eight teams, and I thought, well, if the teams raised 50 or collected 50 to 100 cans each, that would be an amazing total. But they did much better. Claire, how many did we raise? We how raised 3,551. Wow. Amazing. Uh, why do you think they exceeded your expectations? Amongst other things, the, the, the students that we have in this class were absolutely amazing. They were extremely motivated. And this particular cause to help uh, uh, dogs and cats in need, particularly as we get to this, uh, this season of giving, really motivated them even more. So students, students like Claire, they grabbed this, they ran with it, and they did a tremendous job. How did the folks at the Humane Society react? They were so overjoyed. They needed it so bad, and we were so happy to help them. What was the biggest takeaway for you on this assignment? Honestly, just being able to help all the animals because the Humane Society was at capacity at that time and they needed it and to be able to help them and just give them that many like feedings for each animal is amazing. What makes Neil such a good teacher? <laughs> <Should Honestly? I leave? laughs> no, honestly, his dedication to the students. I have had very few prof professors want each student to succeed and he just works towards it if you need help outside the classroom inside the classroom anything he can do for you he is always willing to just help you and to have a professor like that especially in your senior year of college is very, very amazing. It's got to be encouraging when students come back to you and say you made a difference. Oh, indeed. I, I've been doing this for over three decades, and the most important thing about teaching isn't what's in Chapter 10. It's about helping students like Claire to succeed. Much success to you. Thanks for coming on. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. That's Talking Pittsburgh for this week. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Want to give your family the best?